I was wrong calling the bottom at 4,000. I even call it already at 4,400. And, uh, and, uh, and, and we just broke 4,000. I went to 3,800. Also called the bottom for Bitcoin Cash at $200. Also that broke already one day later or a couple, two days later. And it's now 175 US dollars. So um, I'm sorry. I really don't like to be wrong like that uh, and, and, and put people huh, on the wrong leg. And I'm really sorry for that. Um, so, 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 so. The reason why I thought uh, we would likely have a bottom is because we saw a 40% undervaluation to the uh, trend line uh, and, and, and in previous bear markets this was also um, the bottom, the fiat bottom, but um, there were some red flags like it should be much later the fiat bottom um, uh, and the volume wasn't there um, and well already one two days later uh, yeah we see that these red flags had to be taken more serious uh, because uh, well the bottom is not there I have to also give a big kudos to Kevin Svensson um, uh, who has been calling the bear market correctly and was saying with much confidence that 4,000 uh, 200 or so uh, would be a resistance but not the bottom and uh, he was proven right again he has been calling the bottom since January February uh, sorry the bear market uh, started making videos then and uh, he, he did very well and so his point in his recent video I will link it below uh, why he thinks 2500 US dollars will be the bottom is because of volume uh, you have uh, a lot of volume around 4200 that's why I thought that would be a first uh, point of, of resistance that could hold for a while but the, the, after that there is no volume up until 2500 US dollars that's when you have a new volume candle and and so now that that broke that 4200 well uh, I have to agree with him that um, well probably that will be the um, um, the, the next um, resistance and could be the bottom but um, yeah um, I think I was also wrong like I went wonder made a very good chart um, I also li link it below where he shows that um, if indeed the pattern holds, which it hasn't, <laughs> but if it would have held, uh, then a, a correction to 4,800 would be of the same magnitude as previous bear markets compared to the bull market, compared to the rise. And the rise was, even though it went from 200 US dollars to 20,000 US dollars Bitcoin in this bull market, that's 100x, but that's actually a lot less than what it did in previous uh, bull markets where it did more than 100x. Uh, for example, uh, yeah, the last bull market, the bottom was $3 for Bitcoin, it went to 1,150. So that's not 100x, that's a 3, 400x. So Bitcoin now did only 100x, so the correction should be also be a lot smaller. Uh, but uh, that seems to be not the case uh, and um, yeah uh, so 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 hence my uh, yeah my bottom call failed because I thought that would hold um, this pattern but it doesn't um, so yeah the question is then uh, what do I do luckily I didn't went full retard yet <laughs> uh, even though I was considering it uh, but um, uh, thanks to banks being so slow uh, I still have 30% fiat uh, and um, of course it's hurting I bought Bitcoin cash on an ever and ever price of 250 US dollars and 200 broke for 175 so it looks like it's gonna go a lot deeper and and so uh, I'm already sitting now on extra losses um, I think overall I did pretty well I was able to hold off buying uh, f the whole way down from 840 billion market cap to 140 billion market was very well done I think of myself but then I allocated way too much in one time thinking the bottom is there and I went from like 20% allocation to 70% allocation crypto and now of course I'm heavily exposed and so the reason this just this drop this small drop uh, well buying something at 250 and it's worth 175 well that's another 30 percent cut eh, of your uh, portfolio so this is starting to happen with me now so now finally I'm starting to feel the pain 
of the bear market and um, and that's never fun um, but I, I think it's 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 important to not uh, be scared of for myself and to stick to my strategy actually I was it's I was I already changed my mind to to even before we we, we broke this 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 low four thousand I, I I decided to put those the put that fiat not market buy but actually put it in lower buy orders uh, but uh, using uh, Kevin his uh, indication of two thousand five hundred as a bottom but actually what he says really is that he will wait till that point happens and he will only have invested 50% and then he will decide what he will do with the next 50% but actually you see that he's preparing for an even lower low huh? uh, so so but if I extrapolate like let's say let's let's say the low is not 2500 but uh, let's say it's like a little bit lower let's say it's, it breaks 2000 2800 or so and then and that's the absolute low. How, how would that look for Bitcoin Cash? Well, compared to current valuations, uh, we're at 3,700 for Bitcoin, uh, and Bitcoin Cash is already at 170. So actually, basically, that's basically cut in two again from here for Bitcoin. And will Bitcoin Cash also be cut in two? Uh, well, yeah, I think that's uh, a fair estimate. Uh, so that means 170 cut by two. Uh, we're we're going to see probably a low for Bitcoin Cash of uh, not 200 as I thought, but 80 US dollars or 90, uh, something like that, or 70 below 100. Uh, that's tremendous, of course. Uh, compared to the high, was 4,000 US dollars. Uh, that's a, a cut of um, more than 90%, more than 95%, exactly 97.5%. So. Uh, but this is possible. Litecoin did the same in the previous bear market. Um, Ethereum uh, is at, at close to hundred dollars now, um, but Ethereum has corrected less um, than Bitcoin Cash. Uh, it's uh, at uh, over ninety percent now, ninety two percent maybe. Um, yeah, but I, I really don't can't put an estimate how low it will go there. Um, but yeah, it it, it 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 for me just I will put my uh, Bitcoin cash orders uh, considerably lower uh, uh, to try to catch the real bottom then, um, but don't not put it too low. Uh, so somewhere around hundred US dollars, um, and 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 um, someone asked me like why did you change your strategy to 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 try to like isn't it much safer to try to buy after the sideways movement has happened and when for example the 50 day moving averages moves through the 200 day moving average to the upside that usually is a very very good point of entry for which i agree uh, but um yeah uh, those prices will be a lot higher than the bottom uh, probably double or at least 50 percent higher um and so um that's not what i want to do like I don't want to try to uh, I, I just want to try to buy as cheaply as possible and then you do have to buy um, when um, when the markets are collapsing uh, so uh, it's just a different strategy I really like to buy something when it's going down and I really like to sell something when it's going up I, I just have this different kind of uh, investment strategy most uh, technical analysts prefer to buy when it's going up already and they really don't want to buy when it's going down uh, and vice versa uh, they want to sell when it's going down they don't want to sell when it's going up they want to see first confirmation that the, the the bull market is over and when it's going down then certain signals are broken then they will sell but these prices are considerably lower of course than the peak prices uh, and the same uh, if you want to buy the breakout it's, those prices are a lot higher or considerably higher than the um, uh, bottom uh, so it's just a different investment strategy uh, that I prefer um, also um, yeah volume uh, uh, like yeah anyway so uh, I think this is the most important thing um, what else can I say uh, I really hope Owen Wonder makes a new uh, update on the total market cap logarithmic regression chart. Um, 
we're now at 120 billion uh, and, and, and so that should be that's a 50 percent below um, uh, the uh, fair value uh, of or the trend line that's now sitting at 248 billion so so that's almost 250 billion so 120 billion yeah that's 50 percent below um, that's interesting mm, what else can I say I think that's the most important thing just don't say I'm sorry I was wrong and thanks so much for um, all your uh, support uh, on and all the comments I really uh, love reading them Bye.